Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to MLSsoccer.com for the evening session here. Two more semifinals on the way here at the Generation Adidas Cup as the championship division kicks off their semifinals. The first one here, River Plate of Buenos Aires, the number one team in the group stage qualifying, and they face off against the top second place team in Villarreal out of Spain. Villarreal getting ready to kick us off here on the front line. As we are getting lineups in right now, and we will get you all of that information. River Plate getting eight points in the group stage in the final game against the LA Galaxy to decide the winner of the group. They drew and won in penalty kicks. And they move now on to this semifinals. River Plate, the champion last year of this division and trying to repeat here Villarreal, the lone La Liga participant still remaining as Valencia was knocked out already in this competition. A change in goal for River Plate. Juan Rojas comes in for Ezekiel Muth who had started in the last game. The two have swapped in goal throughout the competition. A few other changes coming as well for this River Plate team as they kick off. And support out here, as you can see, the banners for River Plate on the far side, and you can hear the Villarreal supporters singing below us. You can hear the supporters singing for Villarreal. Thought I'd let you enjoy that for a little bit. Great support out here at times for a lot of the clubs as the Dallas Cup, one of the largest youth soccer tournaments in the world going on at the same time here in Dallas. And so a lot of clubs have different age groups here in Dallas that can come out and support each other as they move through the tournament. We've seen two semifinals today in the Premier Division. Monterrey knocking off Chivas 2-0 to go to the final. And Atletico Paranaense out of Brazil, one of the powerhouse youth academies in the world, knocking off Pumas of Mexico as well. And those two will meet in the final on Saturday evening. And the second of that doubleheader will be decided here today with FC Dallas hosting Ude Chile in the next match to decide the opponent for that one. Villarreal, as I said, got off to a slow start was the second place team losing to Ude Chile in their opening game in penalty kicks. But finding a way to turn around, knock off the Columbus crew, as well as San Jose in the final game to get themselves a win. Sergio Lozano on the ball there with a wonder goal just two minutes into that matchup against San Jose to give his team the lead. As Alan Marcel now. In a battle, goes down with Bruno Rodriguez and earns the free kick. So the first free kick of the game coming here. Free kick opportunity coming here. The right-footed service coming in and played all the way through the box and back out the other side. It's 
So we have the starting lineup done now for the River Plate team. Juan Rojas, I said in goal. Facunda Medina at left back. Matias Sanchez, the captain at left center back. Augusto Aguirre and Matias Martinez complete the back line. As Villarreal get the shot away here. Rojas with the save. Cleared away by Aguirre. Villarreal looking to keep the pressure on here. Great start here for the Yellow Submarine. They've been slow. They were slow in their start against Uday Chile to open up the competition. And of course, as I said, very quick against San Jose. Dangerous forward line of Nacho Diaz and Antonio Lara. As another shot comes in and almost squirts through for Nacho Diaz to make the save. In the midfield for River Plate, Chaco, Gabriel, Santiago, Sosa, Christian, Ezekiel, as well as, it looks like, Javier Molina. And up top, Alan Marcel and Federico Girotti. Girotti, the offensive leader of this team. With a goal scorer and a chance creator. Villarreal, great offensive flashes to open up this game. Prove that they're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe here with River Plate. Great move here from Marcel to get into the box. He squares it, and no one there, and eventually cleared. And now Villarreal looking to counter through Ivan Martin out here on the right side. Intercepted. Handled well there by Molina. Juan Sa Joan Salva. Making the run up from his right back position. Villarreal with a high line of pressure turning. River played over in their own half. It's like Diaz on the far side with his hands up. Martin able to square that ball into the feet of Hernais. Well worked by Villarreal. Good composure along their back line. The sun is setting. You can see across the field a perfect day out. Not a cloud in the sky. Mid-50s compared to what we have seen this week. You could call it zero wind at this point. Switch of the field there from Rodriguez. Now a chance to attack for Villarreal. Try and square that ball in to La Madrid. Stepping up and clearing gets Gonzalez, but only to the feet of Mateo Martinez of River Plate. His pass knocked out of bounds. This game, two 35-minute halves. If we are tied at the end of that, we go straight to penalty kicks at the 70 minute plus stoppage time mark. The winner moves on to the finals. The loser is another game on Saturday. One that we will not be showing. We're streaming the two championships on MLSsoccer.com along with this game and one more semifinal to come in this competition. See the sun shining there on that far side as it sets. Lozano picking up the ball. Knocks it through the wickets out to the far side. Lazy pass there turned over 
by Hernais. Giroti making the run. He gets it from Ezekiel. Giroti with the shot and in. What a wonder strike. Federico Giroti, the heart and soul of this River Plate team. He gets the shot on a bounce on that far side. Gets under it, loops it up over the head of the goalkeeper and into the far post. A dream start here for River Plate in the ninth minute. Federico Giroti gets the goal and River are flying to start. See the replay here, the ball chipped up. And Giroti from outside the box just hits it perfectly. His second goal of the competition. And a dream one at that. Christian Ezekiel with the assist. And a perfect start for this River Plate team. And just like in the first game against Ude Chile as that shot flashes wide of the near post. Villarreal controlling possession, looking like the better team to open up the game and then turning around and giving up the opening goal with their first, with their opponent's first opportunity. A tough way to start for this Villarreal team. Villarreal, uh, sorry, River Plate now looking for more. Molina losing the ball off the pass from Marcel. For Villarreal, I haven't given you the starting lineup yet. Marco Vidal in goal, who helplessly watched that Giroti shot go over his head. Joan Salvant, right back. Bruno Rodriguez, right center back. Diego Gonzalez, the captain at left center back. The one who was beaten on that ball by Giroti. And Eduardo Adele at left back in the midfield from left to right. Hernais, Diego La Madrid. Lozano and Ivan Martin and up top Nacho Diaz Antonio Lara Martin one of the top chance creators on this team sprays it out wide left and he'll roll out of bounds for a corner kick opportunity here you can hear in there the captain Matias Sanchez trying to get his river team focused and ready to defend knocked down the goal scorer Iroti Iroti with the ball out Molina picks it up he beats one defender can't beat the second and is able to keep it in bounds. Keeps it in bounds once again as well. Eduardo Adele trying to get rid of it. And Giroti making it difficult. Shot coming in this time from Ezekiel. <laughs> He had the assist on the goal, so maybe starting to feel a little bit maybe cocky. Out wide to Salva here. John Salva, a goal in their last game against San Jose. Along with Lozano. Yeah. 
Rodriguez knocking it around the back. Gets it to the feet of La Madrid. La Madrid and Lozano, the two that pull the strings in this midfield. A good short passing team this Villarreal side has shown themselves to be. A lot of players. Capable of keeping the ball moving. So Villarreal with their backs against the wall early on here. They scored two minutes in on a wonder strike against San Jose in their last matchup. Now they concede nine minutes in on a wonder strike as well. In this game, we saw two heated, chippy games earlier today. Chivas picking up two red cards in stoppage time of the first semifinal. And then Pumas come on a bit unraveled in the second one. Eventually losing 1-0 to Atletico Niense. Diaz trying to bring it down for her nice. Now Adele gets on the ball. Cleaned off his foot perfectly into the path of Marcel. Marcel now pushing it in front of himself. Can he make it two now in the early minutes? Seemed like a half shot, half cross towards Girati. And it rolls all the way out for a goal kick. Marcel showing an ability to take Rodriguez there one-on-one, -on -one, create an opportunity for his team. Villarreal now spray it out wide. Cleaned off the foot there of Salva. What a ball once again there from Ezekiel. And the shot comes in from Marcel once again and too high. But for the second straight time, Christian Ezekiel, the number 10 on this River Plate team. Christian Ezekiel Delgadillo putting that one on a dime. He's already got one assist this game. Not gonna make it more his first assist of the competition. the line of battle there between Martin and Sosa. Now Salvo to throw it in. Villarreal do not want to see themselves go down 2-0 River Plate as they've shown now two years in a row at this competition. Strong at every position. Resolute defensively and ability to score on any mistake their opponent makes almost instantly. Molina trying to find some space in the midfield to play. Delgadillo. Already an assist this game. Gets it off to Giroti. Molina now able to turn. He gets it swept off his foot. What a coincidence there, Antonio, or not coincidence, Antonio Lara, number 18, coming all the way back, defending there. Starting up top, where he now is currently residing. River Plate trailing 1-0 in the first game to Aspire Academy out of Qatar. They came back to win that one 2-1. They took a 1-0 lead in their second match against the New York Red Bulls. New York tied it up 1-1 before River Plate went on to win it 2-1 off a goal from Javier Molina. In their third match against the LA Galaxy with tough weather conditions affecting the game. They went to penalty kicks and ended up winning in PKs. That cross cut out by Sosa. 
to get themselves here in the first place. I already mentioned Villarreal falling due to Chile in their first game in penalty kicks. And then in their second game beating Columbus Crew SC 2-1. And their third game a 3-0 pasting of the San Jose Earthquakes. Got them the best second place finish in their group behind Ude Chile. Villarreal filling, finishing with seven points. The Mexico U-17 team and the LA Galaxy finishing both on five points. This really an unequal opportunities for these especially MLS teams and the chance to play this high level competition. So often it's tough for the teams, especially in the regions close by them to get high quality games. River Plate Average age, the oldest in this division. Just over 16 and a half years old. Average age, Aspire Academy right behind them. The FC Dallas, the third oldest average age. And oldest amongst MLS teams. Villarreal all the way down towards the bottom. 11 out of 13. 16. And about three months average age. And Uday Chile, our other semifinalist, the youngest in the championship division. Under 16 years old is the average for that club. And we'll be seeing Uday Chile versus FC Dallas coming up in just about two hours time here on MLSsoccer.com. About 15 minutes left to play here in the first half. Federico Giroti in the ninth minute with an Unbelievable strike to open up the scoring. Wouldn't be surprised if River could see out a game like this. It was fun watching Villarreal on Sunday stream their first team's match against Barcelona in the hotel lobby. That team, that game, the first team trail 2-0. To Barca and ended up coming back and drawing 2 2. Villarreal sitting comfortably in fourth place in a Champions League spot. A longtime home of Manuel Pellegrini as manager, and of course Juan Roman Riquelme, the great playmaker of our generation. Good moves there from Hernais to get into the box. Lozano tries the shot. Cleared away by Sanchez, the captain. But we know Lozano can hit those if he gets the chance. Sosa brings this one down. Sprays it wide to Medina. Good footwork from Medina. Delgadillo gets by the first defender. Looking for Marcel. Good idea there, Delgadillo. The team last year for River, for a few young stars who will very soon be going and moving into the first team for River Plate. River, one of the most illustrious academies in the world. Of course, producing Federico Higuain. Nice. Currently leading goal scorer in Syria for Napoli. A dangerous collision on the sideline. Off the camera, Giroti a little bit out of control, maybe pulling Ivan Martin down. Now our head official, Ido Gonzalez, trying to calm them down. His assistants today, Victor Vasquez and Francisco Bermudez. Medina throws it in and now it ends up all the way back in the hands of Vidal. Vidal hasn't had anything to do except pick the ball out of his own net. After that strike from Giroti, nothing the goalkeeper could do about that one. It just sat up perfectly. Giroti at that looping shot. Good 
Villarreal still showing patience with the ball. Trailing 1-0. They've got space down the left side to work. Now La Madrid pushing into the path of Adele. La Madrid now hits the cross. The header from far outside from Antonio Lara and just wide of the far post. Villarreal, six goals already in the competition. Only four for River. Now five. But even with all that goal scoring, Villarreal have not looked that convincing in the final third. They seem to be a phenomenal team between the boxes. And just struggling a little bit with that killer lethal threat on the end of the play. Sanchez, the captain, takes it quickly up towards Marcel. And eventually headed all the way back to the goalkeeper, Vidal. Villarreal trying to play it out of their back. They make the mistake. Medina jumps on it. Puts the cross in towards Giroti. Cleared away, fortunately, by Gonzalez. Good work by Martin. Or excuse me, Lozano to use his shoulder. And now he draws the free kick. And Gonzalez wants to talk to Medina after the play. We saw in the LA Galaxy game, Medina and Mestia Sanchez getting extremely physical off the ball and frustrated with the LA Galaxy attackers. Great switch of the field here. River Plate doing a fantastic job to get behind the ball and close down most of the passing angles, forcing Villarreal to play the long switch. Beautifully done by Gabrielle. Marcel able to beat Gonzalez. And the slide tackle in from Adele. Giroti with the shot. And Vidal punching it up and saving it. Good recognition from Giroti Vidal was a step outside the middle of his goal, maybe anticipating a cross for him to come out on. Giroti tried to sneak it in the near post and trick the goalkeeper. He's already got one in this game. Well read by Rodriguez. He then turns it over. So he's able to earn the foul. With Sosa on the ground. Both players have their hands out after that one. A mistake there from Lozano. And immediately back the other way is Molina. He's got Marcel in the middle. The slide tackle made. Morales stays on his feet. And eventually now cleared by Villarreal. A dangerous play resulting off the poorly taken Villarreal free kick. Sosa looking for Molina's feet. And now, long shot coming from Gabriel. Chuco Gabriel. And that one goes out for a throw in. The last thing you want to hear after you take a shot. Here at Toyota Stadium in Frisco, Texas, home of FC Dallas and home of the 2016 Generation Adidas Cup. And Antonio Lara trying to one-up Giroti with that strike 
once again, the ball bouncing up, allowing the player to hit it cleanly off the volley. And you could see the idea there just missing that far post. But the ball dipping down enough that if he had it on frame, it was probably going in over the head of Rojas. So we've seen one phenomenal goal. Now Lara giving us a flash of potentially a second. A lot worth watching here. A ton of talent on the field between these two teams. One of the two giants of Argentine soccer facing off against perennial Champions League. Qualifier, qualifier in La Liga in Villarreal. And it looks like that one's going to go to the goal scorer, Giroti. The first yellow card of the game. This game has been getting more and more physical as it's gone along. These teams clearly haven't faced each other yet in this tournament, but for some reason immediately do not like each other. We are ready to play on. Two teams don't seem, neither team seems happy with what's going on, which I guess is always the fairest way for things to work out. So say able to win this one away, and this is where River have been so good immediately off of turnovers. Their first two or three passes so clinical as they open up their attack. And really, not just the two strikers, but the front five players for this River team look comfortable finishing in front of goal. That one bounces calmly into the arms of Rojas. Just about five minutes left to play here in the first half. Is this first semifinal of the evening for the championship division, the higher division in this 2016 generation Adidas Cup. River played out of Buenos Aires, leading Villarreal. Villarreal, Spain, 1-0 in the first half. In the second semifinal, Ude Chile out of Santiago, Chile. And FC Dallas, our home host club, will face off against each other to go to the final, 8.15 p.m. Eastern time. Excuse me, Central time, Saturday night, 9.15 p.m. Eastern time, here on MLSsoccer.com. We'll have that for you, as well as that second semifinal. La Madrid with the long switch of the field. Adele's touch is too long, and Ma Martinez jumps on it. Mateo Martinez pushing forward. Great ball clipped in for Molina. Molina beats the first defender. Giroti gets himself back on sides. Molina laying it back to him. Two defenders. For Villarreal closing, and Giroti smartly guides it out for a corner kick opportunity. And you see how efficiently River Plate can go from their defensive third all the way up the other side of the field in two or three passes. No rush to take this one. It looks like Delgadillo. Heading over to take it. He set up Giroti for the first goal of the game. Almost set up Marcel one or two times as well. Molina comes over for the short corner. He gets laid back around, but just too slowly hit. And Villarreal looking to counter. Matias Sanchez just pounds it in to the box and a wide open Giroti now with the shot. What an odd turn of events. That ball staying alive there on that far side. And eventually, the other center back, Aguirre, picking it up and playing the cross in. Now a second corner kick opportunity. The corner 
the kick played in at the near post. G. Roti there once again, and his header flashes wide of the goal. A great first half between these two teams in the first of our semifinals. River Plate leading 1 0 through the ninth minute goal. River Plate with five, goal, five shots so far in this one, four for Villarreal. Two shots on target for River Plate, including the goal, just the one so far for Villarreal. Possession, as you can see. Clearly in the hands of Villarreal, but it's all between the thirds. The stats say a 70% to 30% possession difference in favor of the yellow submarines. But it hasn't led to much of anything here in this first half. But a last minute corner kick could make up for it. We enter stoppage time here in the first half. River Plate leading Villarreal in the first half of this semifinal. Villarreal with the corner kick and Giroti clears it away at the near post. No one even near it for Villarreal. Then Ivan Martin gets it taken off him and touches it last, and it goes out for a River Plate throw in, and they'd be happy to see the half called here. In no rush to play. Medina with the throw in. Roti flicks it on to Molina. Rodriguez goes up over his back and gets called for the foul. Rodriguez is number on the back of his jersey, my favorite in the tournament. It is a four, but it looks more like a lightning bolt. I think he plays number Harry Potter. Marcel's on sides here. Gonzalez trying to hunt him down. Marcel clips it to the far post. And it goes out. It could have been twice there that Vidal was beat over the top on goals. And that Villarreal backline falling asleep on the quickly taken set piece and almost paying for it. Federico Giroti made them pay in the ninth minute. A gorgeous strike from him about 25 yards out, looping over the head of Vidal. And in the ball by Delgadillo into the sun. Giroti plants it into the far post. As good a goal as we have seen in this tournament so far here at Toyota Stadium. We'll be back in 10 minutes with all of your second half action here on MLSsoccer.com.
We are back here for the second half of action on MLSsoccer.com as we are ready to kick off the final 35 minutes of this first semifinal to see who will go to the championship game of the Champions Division of the 2016 Generation Adidas Cup. River Plate leading over Villarreal 1-0 after one half of play. A ninth minute goal from Federico Giroti on the assist from Christian Ezekiel. Delgadillo, and that is how we have found ourselves here. Coming out of halftime now, Villarreal will have to find a way to turn it around. They dominated the possession battle in the first half, and it led to pretty much nothing, 70% possession for Villarreal and a staggering number, but River Plate lethally efficient with their possessions winning the ball and getting out on counterattacks and one or two passes consistently, including the goal from Giroti. And almost a second or third from Marcel in that first half, his partner up top. Villarreal, as I said, heavy possession. Five sh shots for them, two on goal. They have not been able to find the back of the net. Six goals in the group stage. But only until the third group game against San Jose did they really get going offensively. Extremely inefficient in their finishing. Is the battle there between La Madrid when it looked like Tia Martinez when La Madrid came away with it. Asking for a foul, now Villarreal down the other end. Ivan Martin, the winger, who has been probably the most dangerous player on the field for Villarreal. Cleared off the ball. Villarreal, one of the youngest teams in this competition. River Plate, the oldest team in this division. And at this age, it can be so obvious mental and physical maturity as well as physicality. Starting off this second half, very physical, and Marcel pulls his shot wide. As good a chance as he's going to get here in the second half. The huge mistake mentally there by Rodriguez, playing it right to Marcel's feet on the top of the box. He had Giroti down the middle. Or if he could have put that shot on goal, he probably had a chance to beat Vidal. And in the end, pulls that shot wide. That's one he'll look back on. Substitution up top for Villarreal. Daniel Ruiz, number nine, coming on. And it looks like in place of Antonio Lara. Daniel Ruiz started in the second match of the group stage versus Columbus. Came off the bench as well in the third game against San Jose. Excuse me, Lara staying on the field, saving that one. So it looks like Nacho Diaz, the one who was subbed out for Ruiz. Good run there for Villarreal. They lose possession, and now Marcel looks to launch the counterattack. But it's easily finished out by Rodriguez. Rodriguez wearing the captain's armband. Playing at center back. Reverse captain Matias Sanchez also wearing the captain's armband. Or sorry, also playing at center back. Clearly he's also captain. Goes out here for a corner kick. Left-footed cross comes in here for Villarreal at the near post. Mama Jid tries to duck to let it over. In the first half, we saw at the end of the half, a corner kick as well for Villarreal. Played straight to... That near post as well, and nothing created from it. You'd have to think they'd want to do 
something a bit more dangerous with opportunities like that. This one out of bounds. To show you how efficient River Plate has been, one goal, as I said, 70% 70 possession to Villarreal, 30% to River Plate. Optic keeping data on this game, counting big passes, passes that lead to big opportunities. Eight for River Plate, just four for Villarreal. So while River Plate's only completed 98 passes to Villarreal's 245. They've been much more efficient with their opportunities. River played 36 of their passes, almost one third occurring in the final attacking third for Villarreal. 52 of their passes in the final third. That's just 20%. Coming down this left side now, Adele looking across. Cleaned up by River. Molina sprays it out wide. Rodriguez able to clean that up. Delgadilla. And he's chipped up by Lozano. And quickly taken. And offsides is Marcel. River Plate not happy at all. They almost caught Villarreal once again. They did it in the first half on a quickly taken free kick that Giroti wasn't able to finish off. Villarreal falling asleep and everyone yelling at each other after that one to wake up and focus. Ruiz has Diaz making the run. He can't get it to Diaz. The slide tackle from Sosa coming back to help out. He's able to save his teammates' backs. Just minutes into the second half here. Villarreal pushing for that goal. It looked dangerous throughout. The left-footed service from Martin comes in. Still alive in the box. And now cleaned up by Rojas. Villarreal showing some purpose in the attack. Can someone finish off one of these passing moves? Good footwork from Adele. And now Sosa picks it up down the right side. Marcella Giroti making the run. Sosa continues his run as well. Giroti with the right-footed shot. And he puts it onto Main Street. Skies that one. Up and over. And almost out of the stadium. And once again, a turnover. Two passes. And River played on the doorstep of the Villarreal goal. This team just so efficient in their possession when they have it. Not Antonio Lara now makes the run. Martinez able to square him up and save it. Giroti trying to leak out. And Martinez and I think Marcel are both offsides on this one. Martinez chooses to kick it after the play. And he picks up. A yellow card for that. He's a right back. Doesn't get a lot of chances in on goal, so he might say it was worth it here in the 43rd minute. Villarreal, they're not in a rush. They have almost 30 minutes left of game time to play. They can hold River Plate, but they would be, they only need one to get to penalty kicks. You'd have to think, they don't want to give River too many chances to get back and set up defensively. Villarreal finding it very tough to break down this defensive unit. River Plate play very narrow in, the, narrow in their midfield, almost as if they play with four central midfielders. There aren't a lot of passing angles to open up and they're resolute defensively, especially those two center backs. Molina flicks it on, and now Marcel, some space to spread his legs. Goes by the first defender easily, puts the cross in, it's deflected, and now picked up by Vidal. Bruno Rodriguez taken out of the play much too easily on that far side. River play in Molina, Marcel and Delgadillo. Have shown ability in open space to beat their man almost too easily one-on-one. -on -one. Now Rodriguez with another mistake. Closed down 
quickly by Marcel and puts it out for a River Plate throw in. River Plate trying to repeat as champions of the championship division here at the 2016 generation Adidas Cup. After winning last year, Villarreal would be the first Spanish team to win this competition. Only two international teams have ever won it. Stoke City out of England and River Plate last year. Marcel in a fight with Salva. Comes away with it, Rodriguez. Goes to the ground but makes the tackle. And then Chaco Gabriel just dribbles out of bounds. Great fight right now between the Villarreal front line and the two center backs of River. Lara can't come away with it. And that one over the head of Adele and you hear his frustration. She wrote D. Looking for the long cross to the far side to Marcel. And he screws that one wide and up over the goal. And Villarreal can understand. Not a lot of size on their front line. Very intent on playing out of the back. But they've been caught now with a few mistakes in their only own half of the field in the last few minutes. This time Lozano coming back to make sure there are no mistakes. Her eyes on this left side, cutting in field. He and Ivan Martin, the two players who have put in the most crosses for this Villarreal team. As Adele tries to get one in, and he also puts it behind the goal. Villarreal, great possession, great passing ability, still struggling to create opportunities in the final third. Villarreal and Valencia both invited from Spain to play in this competition. Atletico Bilbao, the participants last year, also out of Spain. Molina picks up that one, charging up the field. Rodriguez stands him up. Great stonewall there from the center back. He's now holding his back behind the play. Good touch from Lara. Now Hernais coming in field. Lara quickly out wide to Adele. Martinez closing on him. Adele tries to cut past him. Now Lara gets it at his feet once again. Sprays it to La Madrid. Diaz coming out wide right. He's the guy you'd want in the box here as a target. Gets it wide. Now Diaz getting into the box and cleared away by River. Lozano cleans it up on the top of the box. Good idea there from Hernais. Crank can't quite find the connection. The Villarreal fullbacks pushing so high up the field. Gilberto, so smart in his movement, just sneaks out to the far side, near side here. And if he is given the opportunity, although now he's down and has his shin guards off, and it looks like a substitute's ready to come on for him for River, which would be a big loss for this River team if he had to go off the field. He's back up and standing. This one sneaks through to Lara, but it won't count as he's called off sides. Villarreal saying that it was a pass back off of River Plate, but it was clearly a deflection and not possessed. Damian, Damian Shiro is ready to come on. And it looks like it's going to be place of Giroti. What a loss for this River team. Giroti goes off with the lone goal of the game. And up in the debate for goal of the tournament with that stunning strike in the first half. Federico Girotti, the lifeblood of this team. And a big loss for them here in the second half. Rodriguez heads that one away. Now Molina keeps going and Vidal was able to take it under control. Oh, 
River Plate. Sosa there, excuse me, Gabrielle sitting on top of the ball. Shiro, the substitute, no stranger to playing, has started two times in this tournament. He actually went off with an injury against New York in the second game, so came on as a sub in the third. Lozano chips this over on sides. Ruiz, but it was Rodriguez, the first player to hit it, who was called off sides with the lightning bolt on his back. Very easy to spot. Two subs ready to come on here for Villarreal. Eric Primo, number seven, as well as Raul Cabedo, number 10. You can see in your screen there. This free kick, Rodriguez just goes a second too early on that far post, called off sides. Fortunate, I guess you could say, for Villarreal as they don't have to suffer as much with Rojas making that incredible save against Ruiz. That one will go out of bounds. And a chance now maybe for Villarreal to sub. So two changes coming. It looks like Hernais is coming off, as is Diaz. Or excuse me, Lara. Diaz, of course, already off. So Luis Hernandez's day is done as is Antonio Lara. Going on, it looks like up top in place of Lara. Number seven, Eric Primo. And out wide left, number 10, Raul Cabado, Cabedo. Cabedo started at left midfield in the first game against Uday Chile. Eric Primo started at right midfield in the second game against Crew SC. They both came in as substitutes against San Jose in the third group stage game. And now coming in as substitutes here, just south of 20 minutes left to play in this one. River Plate leading 1-0 in the opening semifinal of the championship division. There's two teams fighting for a place to win the title here on Saturday night against the winner of the FC Dallas Ude Chile match, which we have coming up here on MLSsoccer.com. 9.15 p.m. Eastern time, 8.15 p.m. Central time. It's just an hour away. Good touch there from the two substitutes to connect with Diaz. And his first touch a little bit long, allowing the ball to get slid away. Cabedo couldn't turn. Rodriguez takes that one down simply. Finds the feet here of Primo. Yvonne Martin coming off the wing, picking up the ball here in midfield. Calmly done by La Madrid and Lozano. Cabedo down the left wing. He pulls it back. Long switch of the field from Lozano. First touch cross. It was the right idea from Primo. He just couldn't wrap his foot around it. And that's been the story really all day for this Villarreal team in that final third. Just a lack of sharpness. An ability to hit that final ball to open up the attack. I told you River Plate doubling up Villarreal in key passes while also almost tripling them, Villarreal tripling River Plate in passes. Yvonne Martin's on sides. Chaco Gabriel held him on on the inside. La Madrid here with space, long shot coming from him. Gabriel deflects it as it comes in and puts it out of bounds for a corner kick. Back up behind the play. You can see there a little bit of an injury. Yeah. 
Rodriguez plays it back to Cabeda. Now Rodriguez tries to cut by the first player. Puts the cross in just a bit too low. La Madrid beat by that touch. Molina looking to launch the attack now. Shiro, the substitute up to Marcel. And offsides is called against Marcel, I believe by our head referee, not by the linesman. Ido Gonzalez following up the play and making that call. Villarreal trying to start the attack. Diaz sprays it out wide left to Cabedo. Cabedo cuts in field. His cross slash shot immediately deflected away. And it seems like we have a halftime substitution that was never actually announced. Matias Sanchez coming off. Chaco Gabriel has dropped in to center back. And in place, Jose, excuse me, Juan Perez Vias, number two, has gone in to central midfield. La Madrid follows up that with the second pass. Cabedo to La Madrid. Good touch from Lozano. We've already seen a wonder goal from him this tournament. Can he make it two? And eventually take it off his foot by Sosa. Wonderful piece of skill there from Lozano. Dribbling about, or juggling about 30 yards to open up play. It looks like Delgadillo now struggling with a little bit of an injury for this River Plate team. Primo to Martin. Martin gets by two defenders, gets to the end line, brings it back across the goal. A chance now for La Madrid, saved. Rojas with the foot save, dragging it behind him as he comes across the face of goal. The best opportunity of this half here for Villarreal. And a save made by River Plate. Rojas now in no rush to play the ball. As we hit the 58th minute of action. Just about 12 minutes of regular time left to play in this one. Villarreal still looking for the breakthrough. River Plate leading in, on the ninth minute goal by Federico Girotti. No te either team has been able to beat the goalkeeper since then. But Villarreal getting better and better looks over these last five minutes. Cabedo's got a runner outside of him. He reads, Martinez reads that play and wins it. And then he goes into the tackle, studs up. A decision now to make for Gonzalez. And Ido Gonzalez gives a yellow card to Mateo Martinez. And that's his second yellow card, and it's going to be a red card. I believe he hasn't shown it yet, and there it is. A red card in the 59th minute may change the entire complex of this game as Mateo Martinez is sent off. And Villarreal now have about 12 minutes of action here in the semifinal to play man up. Martinez losing the ball. La Madrid steps in, and that's an easy call to make. If it's not straight red, it's obviously a yellow card and a second yellow at that for Martinez. And don't forget the first yellow card he received was for kicking the ball after the offsides whistle went on him when he made the run up the field. So a silly first yellow card leading to a red card and putting his team in a lot of danger. And Mateo Martinez, not an afternoon he'll want to remember. But Villarreal still have to make it count. They've had the possession in this game. They've created opportunities. They just have not been able to finish that final pass and that final shot 
have not been there almost the entire game. Sub coming for River Plate. Nicholas Nieres coming on. And it looks like he'll come on in place of Delgadillo, who had the assist in this game. And the shot taken, and it's wide of the near post. Directly taken on goal, the free kick. As you see the replay here, it's Lozano on the shot. He gets it over the wall, gets it to dip, but can't find the inside of that post. Sosa loses possession. possession. Nicholas Nieres, it's like going in at right midfield. And they've dropped Juan Perez Vias in at right back in place of Mateo Martinez, who's off with that red card. So going with a 4-3-2 formation for River Plate in this one. Well, you'd expect those forwards to come back and help defensively quite a lot. River has been so good when they've defended with numbers in this game. You'd have to imagine they would feel fairly comfortable for these last 10 minutes. Man down, they can also score so efficiently even against the run of play and without numbers. This is a team that can probably perform pretty well. Man down. Medina. Blast that one long, and Vidal brings it down. River played out of Argentina. Argentina currently tied 1-1 in World Cup qualifying, playing against Chile. In 2018 World Cup qualifying, Spain tying Italy 1-1 earlier today in a friendly. But we are locked in here at Toyota Stadium on this one as that shot from Ivan Martin goes high over the crossbar as Villarreal and River Plate face off here for a chance to go to the finals on Saturday night. River Plate opening up as the favorites, coming in as the best team in the group stage, hosting the best second place team in Villarreal. River Plate leading through a ninth minute goal from Federico Girotti, but Mateo Martinez giving two yellow cards. In the 59th minute and sent off and Villarreal man up. The first yellow card for kicking the ball after the play was whistled dead earlier in this second half. And the second one for a dangerous two-footed lunge. And River Plate now will have to defend all hands on deck. Diaz with a little bit of space on the corner. Now the cross comes in. Villarreal just have not been good with their crosses at all so far in this game and this one will go out for a corner kick not quite sure why Diaz was even trying to head it can Villarreal do better with this opportunity Rodriguez and Gonzalez come up from center back as does Adele the fullback Villarreal have to find a way to get a decent cross in really unbelievable they've been so inefficient with their set-piece opportunities. And now Marcel's going the other way. And he gets dragged back by Cabrero. And it's going to be a yellow card here to Raul Cabrero. In the 64th. Once again, these River Plate attackers showing how dangerous they are in open space effortlessly beating the first man, forcing Cabedo into the yellow card foul. And River Plate are in no rush now to take this one. They'd like to take the air out of this game as much as they can. Ido Gonzalez, the head man in charge, assisted by Victor Vasquez and Francisco Bermudez. Molina gets it taken off his foot by Salva. And now Sosa coming over casually to take the throw in. Acres of space out there right now. Villarreal, for some reason, so deep in their own half, even with the man advantage. 
And maybe this is why, because of how dangerous River can be in their possession. An example of two differing styles of playing the game from two different corners of the world. And the clash up against each other, River Plate. Efficient, but little possession. Villarreal trying death by passes here. And currently River Plate are in the lead. Molina with the right-footed corner kick to the far post. Marcel heads it back, and it'll go off of Rodriguez and out for a second corner kick opportunity. Molina will swap wings to take this one. River Plate, the more prestigious, the wealthy fans clubs of Buenos Aires instead of Boca Juniors. Going to become back-to-back -back champions here at the Generation Adidas Cup. They are minutes away from a second appearance in the final. Rodriguez able to get out. Now Lozano up the middle of the field. River still putting on some light pressure high to slow the Villarreal attack. Adele gets it tackled away by Marcel. What great work there from the striker to put in a shift defensively, even with all the minutes he's played in this tournament and the fact that his team's man down. Lozano now the deepest player. Every single outfield player is in one half of the field now. Villarreal trying to flood numbers forward. River Plate, man down, goal up. Have to defend with everything they have, and Villarreal seem to be out of ideas here with just a few minutes left to play. Can they force through a lucky bounce or find a moment of brilliance to get themselves a tying goal here? We'd go straight to penalty kicks. Adele, acres of space to run into. Pushes it wide. Cabedo now. He's got space to work. Lays it out for Adele. A good cross is necessary here. And he hits it low and out for a corner kick. Can Villarreal make this one count? They've wasted too many chances so far in this game. Just minutes left to play here for a chance at the final. Cleared out. Primo tries to keep it in. It's at the feet of Lozano. Federico Girotti, a wonder strike in the ninth minute is the difference so far as River Plate are on course to make it to the final for the second straight year. Can Villarreal throw a speed bump in the way? Cabedo down the line to Adele once again. Adele pulls it back but to the feet of River Plate. And the service once again in the final third, a letdown for Villarreal. Marcel is he going to go to the middle or try and take it to the corner? He's able to earn the foul on Lozano. A brilliant play for Marcel. He's going to slow the game down, let his team push out of their own half and take a little air out of the energy here. Brilliant work up top from Alan Marcel. He's run tirelessly. Throughout this game, dropping in at right midfield now due to this red card and continuing to produce for this River Plate team. Javier Molina standing over this one. He's got two or three options in the box as River Plate leave their entire back line deep to defend. And it's flicked on by Villarreal and out for a corner kick. Molino to take once again. He hits this one to the far post towards Marcel. Marcel heads it back across the face of goal and Vidal takes it. Villarreal have to get it out quickly. Pushing up the white right side to the feet of Martin. Martin has looked like the most dangerous player in this game. He's got Diaz back to his right if he finds him. Instead collides with the River Plate defense. This back line continuing to hold up strong. The long switch of the field 
towards Cabeto. Do Villarreal have any more ideas left in the tank? The ball curled into the far post. Diaz attacking and into the safe hands of Rojas. A brilliant ball from La Madrid curled in there to that far post. And they brought Daniel Ruiz off the bench to be an option with his size on those high crosses. Rodriguez with the bad mistake once again. And Molina a chance to finish it. And he's wide at that post. One on one with Vidal. Pressure put on by Salva. And Molino couldn't put it away. It would have definitely been the final straw in this one. Villarreal into stoppage time. The most only a few minutes left. Marcel down holding his leg. And a yellow card coming here for Adele. And River Plate. Medical trainer out to look at Marcel. What a great game it's been for him. Making the right play, drawing defenders, finding open channels and late in this game, earning free kicks and keeping the game, the clock moving. River Plate really haven't given up too many opportunities here in the second half since they've gone man down. Mateo Martinez shown a red card in the 59th minute, a second yellow. So Marcel's up at the midfield line. You can see at the bottom of your screen, ready to come on, to come back on. As soon as Ido Gonzalez says so. We don't know how much stoppage time will be added. River Plate now, you gotta think, is gonna look to go to the corner flag and keep possession. Adele dribbles it out of bounds. And River have to be happy with what they've seen. They only scored four goals in the group stage. A 2-1 win in the first game against Aspire Academy after trailing 1-0. A 2-1 win in the second game after New York Red Bulls drew them, drew level 1-1 in the second half. A penalty kick win after a 0-0 full-time game against the LA Galaxy in the third group stage group stage game. Brought them here to the semifinals where they've only put in one, but it looks like it's going to be enough. Villarreal trying to make it that case that they can push themselves to a penalty kick shootout. A corner kick coming now for Villarreal, and you have to think they're going to commit everyone forward. Marcel standing up top for River Plate, but it does not matter for Villarreal. They have to push numbers into the box. This could be their last chance. Martin plays it to the top to Lozano. Lozano beats the first man. Down the left side to Martin. Martin now to cross with his left foot, and it's knocked away. Lozano wins it back. A chance to shoot from the top of the box, and that's over the crossbar, and that might be it. In the 74th minute, the seconds tick away, and River Plate, once again, an incredible performance by them. Only 30% of possession in this one. Outpassed consistently by Villarreal. Man down, and it won't matter. Federico Girotti, a wonder strike in the ninth minute. Mateo Martinez, a red card in the 59th. But River Plate is returning to the title game of the championship division here at the 2016 Generation Adidas Cup. A 1-0 win over Villarreal at La Liga. A performance Villarreal. They won't be too sad about. But here it was. Delgadillo put it on a plate. Giroti, a wonder goal as he's going off to the right. He gets under it perfectly, loops it over the head of Marco Vidal. And then a couple good opportunities for Villarreal to finish a huge save here from Rojas on the shot from La Madrid on the follow-up and the free kick. This off the free kick awarded from Mateo Martinez's red card 
and Lozano pulled it wide, but River Plate, fantastic defensively, a strong unit in the midfield and the back line, not giving up any opportunities and moving on to the final. Well, we'll see who they'll face in just about half an hour. FC Dallas, the lone MLS uh, uh, opposition left here in this tournament representation. They are hosting against Ude Chile out of Santiago, Chile, here on MLSsoccer.com. Thanks so much for joining us for this first semifinal, and we hope you join us for the second one. For David Goss and everyone in our crew, have a great night.